Hello, my name is Rick, and this is not the Dwarven Fortress of Swamp Cavern. Instead, this is a version of Swamp Cavern in an alternate universe, where they decided to attack the devils. They shot them with crossbows. They fought them with giant spiders. The giant war kitties bravely ran away. Their hero, Crow Girl, died after being kicked through a wall like a cartoon character. The militia captain, Adderman, killed at least two devils, and possibly more. The main dwarf army died, but successfully killed the starting wave of devils that attacked them. Then there was a period of stalemate where the devils were running up and down the stairs for no visible reason, and the dwarves who were told to assemble as a group, well, not one of them felt like doing it. Oh look, it's a Mamba Spear. I wonder what's about to happen. Ceratopsid Devil already has a name for killing Tetranger, probably. Ooh, shooting globs of stuff, running around real fast. What is going on? It was scared, it ran away. Oh, here comes the spear dwarf again. Oh, fight the spear dwarf. Bolts are firing, globs are flying. Smoke and dust is getting kicked up into the air. The spirit dwarf is still alive. He's dodging everything the devil can throw at him. Police are coming to arrest the devil for being bad. It's still alive. The spirit dwarf is still alive. They fight across the spider's corpse. Mamba Spear and Rakustab Sam. Ah, uh, the Ceratopsid devil. There's an epic battle for you. Are any of these guys going to help? Probably they are not. Duel is still happening. Oh, there's some injuries or something. Or a dead dwarf in there or something. Oh, it proves hard to say what. <laughs> Mamba Spear, how you doing, buddy? You're completely untouched? Wow! <laughs> Sweet! They're still battling it out. Neither one seems to be able to get the other. No, I take it back. Someone hopefully shot it with a crossbow bolt. And it's hurling balls of fire, which has been causing a lot of trouble. Because dinosaurs do that, you know. Uh, but it's a spear master, and he's stabbing the, the devil in the upper body. That's a dinosaur thing. Uh, spear master is hurting it. Human next man has been found dead. Oh, what a surprise. Well, a crossbow guy is just sitting there helping out. It's, it's nice of him. Battle is still raging. 16 frames per second, which is pretty good. Spearmaster is running around putting on equipment during all this nonsense. Not helping one little bit. Whoa. Spearmaster stabs the Ceratops and Devil in the head with his named weapon, tearing the muscle, fracturing the skull, and tearing the brain. He killed it. After that long dance, all that spinning around, the balls of fire, the smoke, help couldn't get to him through the smoke. Spearmaster won. Spears are good. There's more devils. And the help isn't going to want to get to that guy through all the smoke. The devils are undecisive. They're just bouncing back and forth. Elf Spearmaster is running around. Doing something. Probably putting on equipment. Devils are thinking about attacking. The blue devils come up. They go down. They come up. They go down. If we could get them to 
to do stuff this stupid at the start of a fight, then we could win. Snow Devils. I don't remember seeing any of those. What are you waiting for? Get in there. Are you waiting for us? Well, this just doesn't feel satisfying to me. They're not dead. We're not dead. Something's got to happen. We're down about 70 people, but we still have a few good troops left. Then plenty of bad ones. We pressed in nearly 30 recruits at the start of this, and I don't think they ever showed up for any of the fighting, so in theory they should all still be alive. Uh, it wasn't a fair fight. Lots of the demons ran to the top of the spire and got stuck there, so... And then lots of demons ran to the other spire and got stuck there as well. So we, we faced far fewer than, in theory, we should have. And they still beat us that badly. I'm turning the military alert off. Some of our troops are gathering up. And I'm mining more directly into the adamantine spire so that maybe some of them will figure out where we are and come to us. Some of them are close. Some of them are kind of far away. I have no idea where these guys are going. I see my archers running around over here. I don't remember telling them to do anything like that. Of course, they're picking up equipment. Why, why wouldn't they be? You would think those demons would smell our guys and come to them or something, but i am they're just confused. The little dudes are running around right in front of them. They're not doing nothing. Still not sure why this corner isn't getting dug out. Probably because a million little bits and pieces are getting hauled away. And now we're down 70 guys to do it. I've just been letting it run. Uh, they've carved out the hallway. They've hauled away a bunch of junk. So many of them have done something that the frame rate has bounced back because they're all somewhere else now, not all crowding this hallway at the same time. If I sound mad, I'm not. That was the whole purpose of this thing was to kill the whole fort. It just surprised me a little. Oh no, Xanagasnam. Oh, pity. Guess we won't be getting those up downstairs. Oh, it looks like... Wow, look at that. You can actually see what's going on this time. Not everything is on fire. Fantastic. This is what I was looking for. <laughs> yep, that's the rule. If you get kicked by a giant monster, you pretty much die. That's how it works. Eagle monster extract is flying. The Axe Lord hacks the eagle monster in the left upper leg with her named weapon and the severed part sails off in an arc. The flying eagle monster extract misses the Axe Lord. The eagle monster falls over. Yeah, they're frightened back, but just a bunch of them died instantly the moment those demons popped out. Good old Monk. Monk the crossbow user. They are firing some bolts and talking about how they will take revenge. Oh yeah, that woke him up. This is going to be the fight I was looking for. They took one down already. It's on its side. That's it here. But more are popping out. There's fewer and fewer guys to fight back. <laughs> and more and more dead dwarves. So, yep, yeah, this is the end. But you know what? I did all this so I could have a copy of a fort I could retire so that I could look at it in Legends mode. So, ah, uh, this isn't the end of Swamp Cavern. This is just the beginning of me being able to look up more stuff. 
that happened in Legends Viewer in the history of the sport. The sport's coming up on 20 years old of dwarf years. And I don't know, I've been working on this fort since last year sometime. That is, uh, I think he's been having some problems. Oh no, someone lost an adamantine battle axe. Bra, die, dwarves. Bra. I'll stab you with my butter knife. Take that. Where are you going? Come back. You know you want some of this. <laughs> There's this guy still on the ground. Oh, there goes the door. Oh, vet has been found dead. Monk has been found dead. What a surprise. Not, not really. Mamba Spear has been found dead. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm laughing because in the midst of all this fighting, someone is trying to carve up downstairs like I told them to. <laughs> Despite the fact that there's, what is it? There's an eagle monster standing in the same square as them, and they're mining anyways. This the square right here is being mined. So, oh, you crazy guys! Even in the midst of all this death and chaos and spider webs, lower body snow, spattering of vet's blood. Oh, oh, yeah. Here's another thing. The eagle monster scratches the elite marks door from the head, but the attack is deflected by the adamantine helm. They're safe, right? No, not really. The force twists the neck, tearing apart the muscle and tearing apart the upper spine's nervous tissue. An artery has been opened by the attack. A tendon in the upper spine has been torn. The snow devil kicks the elite marks door from the head with his left rear foot. An injured part collapses into a lump of gore. Despite the helmet. They just, like, crushed their head anyways. Animating helmet. There's only so much it can do. Elf Spearman getting taken out by a snow devil. Getting cut up in web. Snappy, the swordmaster, is fighting. Snappy, the swordmaster, has been found dead. I wanted to see how Vet died. Shooting iron bolts. Can't have to stand by. The militia captain is caught up in the web. They fall over. The snow devil kicks the militia captain in the head. An artery has been opened by the attack. The militia captain has been knocked unconscious. Vet has been found dead. Battling with a snow devil. A lot of people getting caught up in webs and then kicked by snow devils in the head. Because that's how Monk was taken out. Monk was one of my favorites. So, alright dwarves, there's three of us and three of them, four of us, sorry I almost didn't see you back there, but one of them is injured, we can do this, we can do this, rah, If you enjoyed this episode, a like, an upvote, or a comment is a good way to let me know it. What are the chances you're ever going to find a channel as small as mine again in a sea of YouTube? Better hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one.